Hi, this is Heather with the Potomac Bead Company. Today I'm going to show you how to create this bracelet called the Tila Tread Bracelet. Um, this bracelet is pretty much designed um, using Super Duos and Tila's. Um, and the middle portion, which is actually the tread portion, um, has some 8-0's in the middle with along with Super Duos and 11 11-0 seed beads. The embellishments on um, both the bottom, the top and the bottom of the bracelet use 11 O's and um, drops, Mayuki seed bead drops. Um, for the bracelet that we're going to create today, I'm actually going to use some Rizo beads along with the 11 O's for our embellishments. And the middle portion or the tread portion of the bracelet that I'm going to create today, I'm actually going to use some three millimeter Swarovski um, crystals or bicones. You can also use the Eidos like I did. Um, this bracelet here, I pretty much just kept it very basic and I, and I created around the purple mauve type theme. The bracelet that we're going to create today is going to use a multiple multitude of colors and I'm just going to show you the versatility of this bracelet. So I will be using some um, green, white lined super duos here. Um, and then I will be using some gray, a matte gray Tila bead. And then for my, the, my 11 O's for the middle portion, along with my crystals here, I'm going to be using 11 O seed beads in a pearl color. My embellishments are 11 O seed beads in the, um, uh, opaque blue purple color along with my Rizo beads in a hematite color and that uh, you're, you're going to need about 14 grams of super duos and maybe a couple of grams of your Tila beads and your 11 O's and Rizo beads so once you've gotten your fire line or wildfire thread 0 .006 um, inch thread and you've got a t size 10 or 12 beading needle and you've attached a stop bead to it, go ahead and let's start our bracelet. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up two of your 11 O's, a Super Duo, an 11 O, a Tila bead, and now we're going to create our, our middle portion of the bracelet. So I'm going to pick up four 11 O's, another Tila, Tila bead, 11-0 um, of my outside embellishment color, a Super Duo, 11-0, a Rizo bead, and another 11-0. I'm going to drop this down to my stop bead. Now you've just pretty much created the the front portion or the beginning portion of your of your bracelet here, and how you can um, what we're, what we're going to do now is actually create the second row, second column of our bracelet. And to do that, we're going to pick up another super duo, and we're going to take our needle up through the super duo that's already on our project. And you're going to pull. And see how we have a gap in between our Super Duo and our Tila bead. This is where you pick up another Super Duo and you take it through that open hole of your second hole of your Tila bead. Oh, so I fling my project across the room, hoping to create a knot or not create a knot. That's what I want to do. Hmm. Now we're going to fill in the space in between here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to pick up the, our middle color, which is going to be the, the pearl color, our 11 O pearl, um, two super duos and an 11 O in our pearl color. Take your needle up through the second hole of your Tila bead. We have to complete this row by filling in the space with a super duo. doesn't want to stay on. Take your needle up through that second hole of the Super Duo kind of in place. And then we're going to add another Super Duo because we want three rows of our Super Duo. This is kind of like a peyote stitch. Our Super Duos, we're creating a peyote stitch here. And now we're going to do our embellishment and our embellishment colors are right here. We're going to pick up a seed bead, 11-0 seed bead of the blue and purple, a Rizo bead, and another 11-0. And then we're gonna take our needle down 
So the super duo that we just put on, we're going to take it, take our needle down through the second hole, kind of hold it in place so it doesn't fly everywhere and it's going to keep our project nice and tight. Now we're going to fill in this space here and add a super duo. Take your needle down through that second super duo. And now we're in place to add on another teal bead. You're going to add a teal bead and then take your needle through only the first super duo in your in your column. And we're going to fill this gap up between these two super duos with a with one of our three millimeter bicones. or an 8O seed bead, whichever one you're using for this project. And now we're going to pick up a Tila bead and take our needle down the Super Duo in our column. We're going to fill this, this space here, adding another Super Duo. And then we're going to add our embellishments, which is going to be the 11O seed beads in the blue purple color, our Rizo bead, and another 11O. And drop that down to our project. And what we need to do at this point is we actually need another super duo. I'm not going to take my needle up through that one because we're going to be missing a super duo. So I need a super duo onto my project. So pick up a super duo and then take your needle back up through the super duo in, in that column that was already in the project. So see how it just kind of fills in that gap. And now we're going to add another sub super duo to fill in the gap in between the Tila bead. And then pull. And now that we're um, in our second hole of our Tila bead, we're going to copy what we did for our second hole of that Tila bead previous in the previous row. And we're going to pick up an 11O for um, the middle portion, which is going to be the Ceylon, the pearl color, um, and then two super duos, and then another 11O. And you're going to take your needle up through that second hole of your Tila bead in that column. This project works up really fast. It's very easy and it's just I mean you can use you can use multiple colors and multiple seed beads for this. So use your imagination. And now at this point, we're going to pick up another super duo to finish our peyote stitch here. It's pretty much a peyote stitch base for our super duos. You're going to pick up one more super duo to finish off. Um, to make it a three column super duo, three row super duo. And now we're ready for our embellishment, which is going to be our 11O in the blue purple, our Rizzo bead and another 11O. And then you're going to take your needle back down that super duo you just added and pull nice and tight. Then we're ready to add another super duo. And, and then after that, we're going to add a Tila bead and then take our needle through just the first super duo that we see in that column. And now we're ready to add our three millimeter bicone. I'm using a crystal here. I'm not using a bicone. And the bicones actually will sit nicer because they've got that pointed edge. So I'm just kind of improv with the Preciosa crystal right now. Now I'm ready to take our Tila bead, pick up a Tila bead and take our needle down through the Super Duo in place. And to finish off our peyote stitch, I'm going to pick up a Super Duo, take our needle down through the second hole of the Super Duo already in, pro in our project. And now I'm ready for our embellishment. Pick up our 11O in the blue purple, pick up our Rizo bead and another 11O. And now remember at this point, you're going to add another super duo and then take your needle up through the super duo that's already on our project. Then you're going to continue this project, um, this pattern. It's very simple. It works up very fast and you're going to continue um, 
until you've reached your desired length. Now that you've completed your bracelet, you finished up the pattern to the desired length that you want, I'm going to show you how to tie it off um, and how to add your clasp and your um, toggle. So what you need to do is, this is actually my last row, so this is my last Tila bead, my last Tila's, and I've just strung on my embellishment. And what I'm going to do, what we would be doing is adding on another super duo and we would take it through here. However, I don't want another super duo. So what I'm gonna do, um, like, what, like what we did at the very beginning of our bracelet, I'm actually going to take my needle up through that second super duo in place because we're tying off, we're finishing off. And at this point, instead of adding a super duo, I'm going to add an 11 seed bead. Again, just doing exactly what we did from at the beginning of our project. And if you haven't already gotten your clasp or what, whatever, whatever you're going to use to close up your project, your toggle clasp, um, go ahead and get that now. And what I'm going to use is this um, six millimeter glass pearl for my toggle portion. So now that my thread's coming out of the second hole of my Tila bead, I'm going to string on four of my seed beads. And then I'm gonna take that up through the Tila, the second hole of my Tila. And now I'm going to add my 11-0 seed bead. And now I'm going to finish off my bracelet and I'm gonna add two 11-0s. And I'm gonna take that down the previous 11-0 as well as my super duo, I'm actually going to try to thread the entire um, thread the entire project, thread my needle all the way down to the other side of my project. And it's going to be a little tricky, but you can do it, and so can I, hopefully. And this is just going to give your project just a little bit more tension. It's just going to tighten things up because that's what we want, um, especially at the end. And if you need to, if you'd like to, you can do some half hitch notches, half hitch knots. Um, also, just to kind of, you know secure your project a little bit better. And we're almost there. And you're going to keep your you're going to keep your needle um, pretty much, you're going to keep threading your needle through your project until you get to the last, or until you get to the, um, the second seed bead. And what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to string on, I'm going to string on my uh, 11 O's. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up, I'm actually going to use the um, off-white, my pearl. I'm going to pick up two, uh, two of my 11 O's of my, um, of my ivory color and one of my deep purple, blue purple, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up about 20 of my 11-0 in my ivory color, or however many beads you need that will go around your glass pearl. And then you're gonna take your needle down through that, the uh, deep purple, the blue deep purple color 11 seed bead, and just kind of pull it to create your toggle. And like I said, the, I just kind of estimated right now, and um, if you need to do an accurate count, you can, and then you're gonna test it just to make sure that it fits your glass round. 
Um, and then take your needle back down through those first two 11 0 seed beads and then take your needle through the remaining two seed beads that are in the column. And this is where you can either go back around one more time and reinforce the loop that you've created and tie off your, um, your loop portion of your bracelet. And then what we're gonna do over here is pretty much the same thing. And I'm going to show you right with this bracelet, with um, my purple bracelet. So I pretty much just did the same thing. You're gonna take your stop bead off. And once you take your stop bead off, um, attach some extra thread if you need to, and then take your needle back down through that, through this side, the first hole of your tila, back up and around, and bring your needle out through that second 11-0 um, seed bead um, in this column of the ivory. And then what I did, I just added three or four 11-0s, uh, um, and then your glass bead, and then your next 11-0, and then Take your needle back, skip your skip the 11 0 and take your needle back through the glass pearl and the remaining beads and bring it back down. And then you're just going to tie off your project um, using half inch knots and and there you have it. That's pretty much it. That's how you make your Tila tread bracelet. Um, have fun doing this project. Use multiple colors if you want. Try to you know if you want use different color super duos in the middle. Um, and hopefully one day we will see you at Potomac Bead Company. Um, thank you for watching this video. Check us out on um, YouTube and Facebook and have a good day. Thanks again.